Good evening. And welcome to Thursday evening prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. Our evening prayer is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone or tablet. Or you can also follow along with, with us with the Book of Common Prayer. And an order of service for that was sent out earlier this evening on our Facebook page. We do thank you for joining us this evening and ask you to send us some kind of a reaction or comment. If you're with us, to let us know that you are praying with us. So let us begin our Thursday evening prayer. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make space. Make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please join us as we say together the close to Laron, the O Gracious Light. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 114. Hallelujah. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech. Judah became God's sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turn back. You mountains that you skip like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water and flintstone into a flowing spring. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your love and because of your faithfulness. Why should the heathen say, Where then is, our, is their God? Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills to do, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel, feet, but they cannot walk. They make no sound with their throat. Those who make them are like the, and so are all who put their trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great together. 
May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heaven of heavens is the Lord's, but he entrusted the earth to its peoples. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor all those who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading this evening is from the book of John, chapter 2. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out, and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the wine that had become wine, he did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his sons in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now say together the Magnificat, the song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. We will say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
Um, Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of your, all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us who know you now by faith to your presence, for we may see your glory face to face through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, Soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. This evening in the World Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the country of Norway. In the Ecumenical Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Lutheran Church of Australia. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessing of the day that has passed, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose for us again, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others, asking especially your prayers for St. Mary's Episcopal Church, and for St. James, House of Prayer. Asking your prayers for this nation that we might find healing and peace amidst all that has gone on this past year. Gracious God, we ask you to be with us. Pray for Casey and Crawford, for Bob and Dee and Anna, Haley Morgan and Emma, and for Lisa, for Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, and Jamie, for Bo and Patty. We pray for Sue and Kelly. Becky and Mike, for David, for David and John, for Lauren and Alexa, for Enid and Jan, for Kate and Jessica and Hannah. We also lift up to you all of those on St. Mary's prayer list, all of those with urgent and ongoing needs. We ask you to lift them up to your care and guidance. Look with mercy, O God, our Father, on all persons who have become ill, weak, distressed, or isolated. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help and to increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, whose fatherly care reaches to the uttermost parts of the earth, we humbly beseech you graciously to behold and bless whom we love, now absent from us. Defend them from all dangers of soul and body, and grant that both they and we, drawn near to you, may be bound together by your love and the communion of your Holy Spirit, and in the fellowship of your saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you. And then use us, we pray as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, 
We, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our, desire, our desires and positions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of the truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We thank you so much for joining us this evening for Thursday evening prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We invite you, as always, to join our regular Sunday worship service on Sundays at 7.45 and 10 o'clock. Only the 10 o'clock service will be streamed live on Facebook. So if you can't come in in person, we invite you to join us on our Facebook page and watch it through live stream. If you are home tonight, please take care of yourself. Continue to take care of others. Reach out to those you love. You might be the only voice they hear this day. Take care of yourselves. God bless and good night.